I'm here today with Eric Neurez. He is the CEO and Executive Director for Linus Corporation. How are you today, Eric? Very good, thank you. Eric, you've just recently had an AGM where Nick Curtis addressed a number of issues with Linus, mainly lamp production. I'm going to start right there if you can give us an update on where you're at, because it's my understanding that by the end of the year, we should be at full production. Yes, indeed. Uh, <clears throat> we ramped up operations for the past uh, 12 months. I intend to be at full production for the next quarter. And so full production, if I'm correct, is 22,000 tons? No, it's the first phase uh, we are operating is 11,000 tons. And the second tranche, 22,000 tons, is basically uh, up and ready and completed and will be starting anytime soon. And you, of course, so first tranche is 11,000 tons and then the second tranche will occur when? What's your timeline for full production? It's really ready to be operated, so it will be defined more by market conditions that, uh, uh, for any production reasons. So we'll optimize everything at 11,000 tons, and uh, should the market improve in terms of uh, offtake and pricing, we'll trigger gradually phase two. Okay, Linus, as we know, is a rare earth leader. In fact, anybody who's interested in rare earths right now is following Linus. Can you give us a bit of an overview of where you're at today? What's happening with Linus? Um, that could be a long story, uh, but simply said, it's the richest deposit in the world. The Mount Velt uh, operations uh, in Western Australia started in 2011. The first phase I've been implementing and operating since. Uh, reaching capacity quite quickly. We implemented phase two, which is twice under the capacity in uh, Mount Belt as well, operating since 2013, and again operating at capacity. So that's, um, <coughs> we have uh, more than 18,000 tons of concentrate bag ready to go from site. It's my understanding, of course, that Mount Weld is one of the richest rare earth deposits in the world. Can you give us a bit of an overview of the Mount Weld project? Yeah, Mount Valley itself is a bit peculiar. I probably cannot uh, explain why. It's a 10 to 25 percent rare earth containing ore. Uh, usually, what you find uh, for the richest deposit uh, currently in operations, like Bao 2 in the Mongolia, is more than 5 6 percent, uh, but it's the same in uh, California. And for the rest of the world, usually it's more in the half a percent to 2 percent uh, grade. So, Mount Valley, again, is a very rich deposit. Uh, we have more than 25 years, uh, uh, years of reserves on site at full production capacity, and we have more than resources that we can continue to extract later on. A clarification that I would love that we often have debates on in investor intel is that a lot of people like to dismiss Linus as a light rare earth producer only. Can you talk to me about this? Uh, <laughs> well, it's, it's primarily a light rare earth producer, that's correct. Um, we have 5% of heavy rare earths in our, in our ore, so it's probably one of the biggest, uh, in tons terms, heavy rare earths producer as well. So I don't know if you want to qualify it, but yes, we are mainly a, rare, a light rare earths producer. Inside even our light rare earths, we, we tend to have Middle E or valuable product like NDPR. I don't know which category you want to put them, but at least they are uh, certainly uh, the lead product for in terms of consumptions. And overall, it remains rich, probably the richest deposit in terms of uh, ore content, but also in terms of respective valuable element into it. Well, we also hear a lot that the demand for the light rare earths you're producing um, is not there. Now, we disagree with that, but we'd like to hear what you think and what you're experiencing right now. What is the demand for the light rare earths that you're producing? I remember that <laughs> the Linus project has been a customer-based business model. Uh, and what it means in the key leaders in the various rare element, being lights or heavies, have made the way Linus is set up today. Uh, we initially had a, a long-term contract for a product which is Cerium and Lanternum, which is supposed to be the longest product uh, in the rare earth cut, as a, as a way of making sure that the, bailos, uh, the base load of the, uh, uh, the offtakes of, of Linus will be secured. So this is what helped us to say that our phase one capacity, 11,000 tons, is fully secure in terms of contract and we can sell everything we produce. Would you mind if I asked you briefly about your recent announcement about purchasing more shares of Linus? 
Well, I'm leading the business for uh, now eight months, and uh, I think uh, I bought shares at a trading window. Uh, I could do it because they believe in that business and they believe what we're doing. So I'd like to get the reward of it and not take only the risk part. So that's a simple reason why I bought share of Linus. I think that's a great indicator right now for an excellent opportunity for all of those out there interested in the rare earth industry sector. Eric, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for the time.